Hey everyone, Yobi here, and uh, today I'll be starting a series on how to make a VRChat avatar. Now, this first video here is going to be showing just basic setup and the things you'll need. So to start off, I suggest grabbing uh, Blender. Now I downloaded it off of Steam because it just makes my life a whole lot easier. So it'll be under software, and you just search Blender. There it is, install that, it'll keep it up to date. Now, once you have Blender installed, you want to grab Cat's Blender plugin. If I remember, I'll put this in the description. And you're gonna go ahead and download it. There we go. I have that downloaded. Let's go ahead and put the summary you remember. So as you see, I have stuff in here. Go ahead and throw this in. This is the folder I made. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and log into VRChat. And we're going to go to Downloads. Yes, mine looks different because I zoomed in. So we're going to need the uh, Unity and we're going to need the VRChat SDK 2. There is a third one on the way. However, that's still in testing, so we're going to stick with the VRChat SDK 2. So go ahead and click this button, we hit open a new tab, it'll bring us to here. Alrighty, once we have this finished, we are going to install Unity. Alright, and we're going to want Unity 2018-420-F1. I'll bring us to here, and I believe... It's this button. It's probably this button. And it'll go ahead and download Unity. Of course, I already have it installed. So once you have that done, you want your VRChat SDK 2. It'll start a download. And you'll grab the latest one, which actually I think I still need to do. So I'll go into my extras folder. VRChat SDK 2. And I'll put that inside. I keep a... Uh, a backlog of my Unity projects. Why? Because it makes my life easier. Alright, we have those installed and downloaded. We don't need that anymore. Go ahead and open up Blender. So now we have Blender open. We represent this cube. The way I'm moving my screen is with the middle mouse button. Uh, for future tutorials, I will have on-screen keys. But until then, this is what we have. Mouse wheel up and down. Shift, middle mouse button click. Is your pan. Alright, so what do we want next to do? We need to import cats. Edit, preferences. Uh, we want to go to add-ons. Install. We need to find where we saved our... SDK, so for me, or not our SDK, our cat's file. So I go to E, go to wherever you saved it. So for me, it's an E, Blender Projects, not Projects, Plugins. And it's this one right here. Mine's already installed. It'll look, uh, it'll look like this once it finishes. Just hit the checkbox, give it a second to load and do whatever it needs to, and that's done. However, I like my customizations, so we're going to go under, uh, which one is it? Go under key map. Now for me, I'm used to the old blender, so I always have it set to right click. My spacebar action set to search. Select toggle all, that way you only have to tap A once instead of double tapping it. And then down here, I like using my pie menus. So I have both of these set to on. Now just to access cats, press N as in no on your keyboard and go down to cats. And here you'll have all of your features. Alrighty, so that's Blender set up. Let's go to Unity. So I'm going to assume you have it installed and running. I'll go ahead and launch it for myself. Alrighty, so we went ahead and we 
launched Unity here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to New. Alright, I'm going to name this the same title as the project here. Or as the SDK, that way I know which one it is. I have it all saved into a location, and then I hit Create Project. Unity is now open. And as you can see, we're in screen. Uh, to pan around in Unity, it is middle mouse click. And to rotate, it is right click. Alright, we're going to go to Import Package, Custom Package. Alright, I'm going to go into my Unity folder, go to Extras, SDK2, and this is the SDK. Open. Alright, it's going to appear with this window here. It's going to have all of these fun doodads we're going to need. So go ahead and hit Import. Alrighty. And now our SDK is installed and we get all these fun things to play with. Now I still wish that this examples thing was still inside of here because I like all my stuff in one folder. But hey, that's just me. Uh, yeah, something else I also like doing for uh, when I'm making avatars, you'll see me do this later when we get to this part, is I will insert a floor because then it just makes it easier to know where your actual floor plane is rather than trying to follow this grid. Alrighty, well I thank you all for watching part one of this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.